right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a reading copy for use and reference of a book, which if it was in perfect condition would cost you a lot, cost you a lot more than my starting price. Um, it's a delightful um, 1870, I would think there's no date, um, book called A History of British Ferns by Edward Newman, the fourth or school edition. As you can see, it's almost uh, virtually sort of disband there. The text block of the book has parted company from the rather sort of um, um, stained, uh, but rather charmingly um, uh, gold-blocked cover there. There's the cover. It's obviously been out on a few fern hunting expeditions. But the actual text block of the book, apart from the title page, which is detached, is sound and fairly clean. Uh, it's even got charming little Victoria. That proves it's been out ferning. There are charming... Uh, pressed ferns between a few of the pages. I think there are a couple of other uh, examples there. Nice illustrations, nice sort of line uh, illustrations. If my th I can do this one-handedly. Uh, there we are, fern illustrations. Uh, Dickie's fern, there we are. Um, moonwort, flowering fern, bristle fern, heart's tongue, uh, again with illustrations there. A charming fern hunter's book. There's another bit of fern or whatever of around 1870. Um, it's sought after. I looked it up on the internet. The only prices for this volume, a few annotations there, uh, to show it's been out ferning. Um, th there's another bit there. The only uh, prices I found for this very book are £35, £55, £60 and £160. My starting price is rather less than that for this reading copy where the text block there is nice and um, together. There we are. Thanks very much indeed, British Ferns, around 1870. Thanks. Bye.